Welcome to Electro Online. This is our next optics problem on the JE Advanced Test. Now, this particular problem is relatively easy if you know how to do it because it's a little tricky if you don't know, then you almost have no chance of finding it. So, here what we have is we have four harmonic waves of equal frequency and equal intensity, I sub naught. But they're, they have phase angles. There is a difference in the phases between the four and they're superposed to one another so they all shine together they're superposed to one another and they want us to find out what is the magnitude of the intensity of the four waves put together find n we are told that the total intensity is n times the intensity of each individual wave so how do we do that well it turns out we're supposed to be adding the electric field phasers, not the intensities, the electric field phasers. And we also have to know that the intensity is proportional to the electric field phasers squared. So we have to know that I is proportional to the electric field strength squared, and we're supposed to add the phases in the electric field. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our first phaser. So we're going to say here is our first phaser. Let's call it E sub naught. And it has an angle theta is equal to zero degrees. Then our next angle is pi over three, which is 60 degrees. So our next phaser is going to look like this. We have the strength or the magnitude E sub naught, and it makes an angle of 60 degrees, which is equal to pi over three with respect to the first phaser. Then we have a third phaser, which now has an angle of 2 pi over 3, or 120 degrees. So that phaser is going to go like this. And with respect to this phaser right here, that's another angle of 60 degrees, which is equal to pi over 3, which is equal to 120 degrees with respect to the first phaser. And finally, we have a fourth phaser. And let me erase this right here, because this is going to get in the way. Let me write it over here that I is proportional to E squared. And now we have a fourth phaser, which is going to go like this, which makes an angle of 180 degrees pi with the initial phaser or an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the third phaser. And again, the magnitude of that is E sub naught and the magnitude of that is equal to E sub naught. So now the final solution or the final phaser, the E total, and yeah, it will be like this. So this will be E total, which is equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4, which are the four phases right here that we're going to be added together. But they're added vectorially, of course. They're not added in magnitude. So what do we have? Well, the length of this will be equal to the Y component of this plus the Y component of that. So let's take a look here. Let's use a different color. So what we're looking for is we're looking for this component right here and we're looking for this component right here. So we're looking for those two Y components. So this is E in the Y direction, E in the Y direction. So that's what we're trying to find. And so we can see that E in the Y direction is equal to the hypotenuse, which is E times the sine of 60 degrees. Is it the sine of 60? Yes, it's the sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to E sub naught times the square root of 3 over 2. All right, the same for the second one, E sub y, for the second one is equal to E sub naught times the sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to E sub naught times the square root of 3 over 2. And so those two together give you the magnitude of E total. So the magnitude of E total is equal to 2 times the magnitude of E sub y, which is equal to 2 times E sub naught. Oh, made a mistake there, square root of 3 over 2. So that will be E sub naught times the square root of 3 over 2, like this. And notice that the 2's cancel out, so the total magnitude is equal to the magnitude of the first one times the square root of 3. But then you realize that the intensity is proportional to E squared. So E intention, so N times E intention, uh, N times the initial intensity of any one of the waves is equal to the total intensity that we're looking for, which is equal to 
e sub naught times the square root of 3 quantity squared, so which is equal to 3 times e sub naught. And so therefore, since e sub naught squared, since i sub naught is proportional to e sub naught squared, then n times i sub naught is proportional to 3 times e sub naught squared. So therefore, we can say that n is equal to 3, which means that the intensity is going to be 3 times the intensity of a single wave when we are done. When we put all four of them superposed on one another, n equals 3, the intensity will be 3 times the intensity of a single wave. And this is how we figure that out.